Hello and welcome back to another episode of Jagged Alliance 3. My name is Saiken, I am in a good mood and today we're continuing our blind playthrough on the very hardest difficulty of this beautiful game. Uh, of course, all hard modes enabled uh, with that. So, today is the day team number two finally can um, start laying waste on the enemy. Team number one is kind of holding the position right in front here. We're training. I want to get the diamond shipment. And I am sort of tempted to get uh, this mine. But the map is a mess. And uh, after the diamond shipment has been captured, I figure team number one is just going to go over here. And we're starting to capture that sector, then go for the refugee camp and then do the rest. I don't even know why this here is still uncaptured, but it is infuriating to see uh, the OCD in me uh, triggers uh, typically one sector at a time, but I don't, I don't know. It is what it is. So these guys here are patrolling. We know uh, there are more enemies in here. Um, and maybe we can just ambush the camp patrol. How about that? So we got our new second team and although I did it at the end of last episode, I still wanted to do it again. My uh, main focus with the second team is try something new and mainly expand kind of uh, on what the game has to offer. Use items and weapons that I haven't used yet. Just basically do stuff that we haven't done before. Uh, the team itself has a decent amount of materials, parts, so 130-ish, which is okay. Um, and really, when I reflect on what the first team is doing, the first team is abusing Overwatch uh, with automatic rifles. So Hogbite's build is just pure carnage. The whole kill zone thing is ultra, ultra good. Uh, we're abusing sniper rifles, which seem to be kind of the, uh, the absolute top tier god item in or god weapon in this uh, in this uh, game, because they save ammunition, do a lot of damage, penetrate armor, and just have a high engagement range. And on top of it, we're kind of abusing shotguns uh, with just running in and then slashing every uh, everything. So. Basically, no shotguns, no assault rifles, and no snipers in large quantities. Hence, we want to use submachine guns and pistols, and maybe um, kind of Uzis or other weapons that you can just use with uh, one hand and that are dealing a lot of damage. So, um, the idea that I came up with after training for a long time, you can see everybody here has decent agility, dexterity and marksmanship, so that is good. Uh, the main combat stats are being taken care of. The idea that I came up with after that um, while is we do have a bit of a front line, triple front line to be precise, Pierre, Blood and Steroid. And all three of them do have some form of run and gun. Uh, both. Uh, mm, uh, steroid and Pierre get it from their Uzis because they can uh, well one has an mp5k the other one has a normal mp5 um, and both can use run and gun use nine millimeter ammunition which is great because uh, that ammo does not see much use in most uh, cases we don't have a lot of armor piercing but we do have uh, quite a bit of normal standard ammo so both use uh, that both also do have a melee weapon, kind of as an extension of what they're doing. And I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with steroid. Uh, we're, I, I guess we're going to uh, figure that out. The um, uh, blood character has his knives, the endless knives, super good, I like them. And uh, that in itself gives you also run and gun, but only once per, uh, per turn. But I think the ability is good and all three of them essentially I want to play them as skirmishers and uh, just hop from uh, from cover to cover and in uh, Blood's case he does have the Famous which does not have run gun but has a very low um, a very low uh, to, uh, to, to shoot uh, range and I would like uh, to basically reposition if I can't reposition further they are overwatching uh, with uh, the guns and that's their job. Good. Which brings us to kind of the midline, which I would say is um, Larry and Flay. 
Uh, Larry does have the Anaconda, which is a cool weapon, so I want to uh, shoot with him first thing every turn, and then essentially maybe throw a grenade or a Molotov cocktail. There is plenty of things that we could do. Uh, blood, by the way. Molotov, instead of those little green sticks, it goes a long way. So blood equally um, put with 31 explosives, that's good enough. Molotovs are easy to use. So both of them are throwing stuff. Uh, Larry, however, with his gun has 26 range. So uh, he's kind of a mid-ranged engager with a gun. Uh, Flay, on the other hand, has 14 range with the uh, guns and will reposition with them as well. A uh, lot of 9mm shots. You will hear cluck, 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 cluck as, uh, as he's repositioning. And whenever he can't, he's going to use the Winchester. I want to play him as a stray character, as a loner. He also has that loner character tra uh, trait uh, here. Becomes inspired when there are no teammates in your vicinity. I don't know what vicinity exactly uh, constitutes, but uh, the moment that he's alone, he gets inspired, and that in itself is good. Uh, Larry, uh, I think, has the same trait. So maybe Larry and him are actually going to um, just fan out and are standing alone. Larry could use a little bit more strength to throw further, but I think the Anaconda itself is good. So that's fine. Both of them are flankers, I would say. And then there is Buns. Um, I like the Dragunov uh, because it is fully uh, kitted. So why would you want to change it, right? But I also wanted to uh, switch to another sniper. So let's give her that, the PSG-1. High crit chance and similar uh, penetration. We can maybe kit it, uh, kit it a little bit more as time goes. Plus, we have a lot of gunpowder, which I think we would want uh, to use as well in order to craft. So for now, put that in place. Backpack. We don't need the the money here. Good and. Knives are not needed. I think that's pretty much it. I like flashbangs for blood as well. That might be a good thing. You know what? We haven't used them a lot, so might as well want to use new items. Just testing out how well they are doing. And we haven't used uh, smoke grenades either. So how about we're putting them onto Larry. And the tear gas goes back to blood. Okay, cool. Yeah, looks like a good team. That's what we're working with, guys. Let's force move here. Where does the untake next? And that's our first actual fight outside of say a city. Pierre should make a kill and never su suffer damage in the conflict. Well, what? I think it's doable. What next? Check your weapon. The game is a fool. If we are not cowards, we will win this fight with an impressive deed of courage. Touch. Got it quiet. Gonna do this quiet. Touch. Got it quiet. The back is with us. They won't see. Okay. Um, listen, we could engage silently here. It is a shame they will not be able to watch me move. Could we hunker down somewhere? I thought the bushes would uh, give us cover, but they don't. <coughs> well, it is what it is. 
Very moved up. And we're officially on. Larry softens these guys up, kills one in return, and then goes down, uh, goes a bit further down. All right, Pierre. One. Two. Three. Well, that worked out well. Damn. You uh, took some damage. That's not good. Okay, uh, how about switching? Getting a little bit further down and then attacking this guy. Oh, come on. Alright. Good hits. Oh wow, I like it. Just hold still, damn you. Eh, almost. Almost hit the arms. Yeah, too far off an engagement distance, but remember, if we die. The Major will come to hell and give us all that. These guys only have pistols. Pain is for wimpy people. Right on, man. Death to the zombie. Good. Pierre has Glory Hawk, Machete Charge. Okay, listen, I mean, for. I should be working out. For a first engagement with all of uh, the typical problems that come with it, that wasn't too bad. The issue here is our team is good uh, at taking. Good. at skirmishing, specifically at taking cover better. and then moving forward. The issue is on a completely open ground, of course, we're going to see huge disadvantages and yeah we're going to take some shots in return i was actually hoping we would take less damage but it's fine larry got a level up so larry is the loner right uh, larry is hard to detect larry also runs faster what do we want to do with larry um larry has really good agility and dexterity so we could work with what we have here it's a little bit low on hit points, so I think uh, giving him that extra hit point buffer would not be a bad idea. But uh, before we do that, I actually started liking lightning reflexes a lot. And maybe what we could do is we're playing him as a grenadier with a lot of uh, running involved. Uh, once he's at strength 70, we could get that um, extra movement from uh, breach and clear and then we do a fast runner and frog leaping plus lightning re uh, reflex is that already seems like a good build to me i like free movement range when starting in cover is he often starting in cover? typically he is yes so increased free movement range in cover is not bad but this here is kind of a lifesaver beefed up isn't bad either but I mentioned I don't want the same build, so um, frog leaping seems fine. 
Lightning Reflexes seems good as well. Can only happen once a combat, but for Ice it oftentimes was just negating a lot of damage. Frog Leaping isn't bad either. And that plus the increased Fast Runner. Could make for a nice movement speed. Hmm. Nah. It's already fast as is. Let's see what kind of snacks we got. Here. Cool, we got a lot of shotgun shells. We got a lot of shotgun shells, which isn't too bad. I like it. Could have, by the way, also used a flashbang or a smoke grenade. Huh? I will leave. Good. We got this. So, new team. Nicely took all of this uh, away. Pierre gets that med kit. Hey man, what's up? Go. We go. Cool. Unfortunately, these were not carrying any diamonds. It will be done. We got this. And who's our explosive guy again? Oh yeah, Larry. So Larry will take the front a bit. Want to make sure that we're not running into a minefield, because I don't want that part, uh, that group here, to have too long of a downtime. Hey man, what's up? What? Come on, Ted. Let's go. Copy that. Hey man, what's up? What? Whatever. Good, we're gathering a couple of her herbs, but nothing more in the sector. It was a good engagement. I like how that played out. Um, how about we're just getting the coastline and then we're starting to move from the south uh, towards that legion garrison. Good. In the moment, uh, in the moment, uh, in the meantime, we're uh, training explosives. As you can see, our main team is becoming more of an all-rounder team. Look at the stats, for instance, with the exception of leadership, which uh, Hogbite may be able to train, but 52 is maybe not enough to be a trainer. I, I have no idea, but. It's great to see medical 60, explosives uh, 50, mechanics uh, 50, and if you just go kind of through the uh, through the team, most of our guys do have really really solid uh, all around abilities now. Of course, some are specialists, but yeah, just becoming better. Which would also minimize the impact if we ever the have the situation where we're losing one of them. The diamond shipment goes there and someone else has, is sending forces. Yeah, okay, well, we're blocking all of that. Apparently someone else... Oh, this diamond shipment is going through here. Okay, fair enough. I believe the diamond shipments can still keep you uh, keep you in the game for a while. With 300,000, potentially I could hire kind of an all-elite team. But I actually enjoy fighting a little bit with the underdogs and these guys here have now been trained, so why would I hire a third team? Got it. It will be done. 
Order accepted. Uh, we got a bit of experience for everybody. Cynic perk activated. And then it's snack time, right? We're moving. Okay, not sure what that statue is doing other than creating a cynic perk. Hang on, Ted. What it? What's that? I think it might be drugs. I should check and see if it's drugs. What next? Come on. Let's go. Good, careful here. Could be a landmine again. Bummer, man. It's locked. Uh, steroids. We need your unique abilities to just open that. Thank you. Nice. Uh, that is helpful, but we don't need wire cutters too often. No sweat. C'est parti. Understood. Good. I think what we could do here is a couple of our items might need a bit of repair. Ninety-six, ninety. Yeah. Thing over there. We are moving out. Good. It's one of these intermediate areas where there's really not that much to find. Guy that died. Strange, uh, strange statue. Hey man, what's up? What? You guys go ahead. I'll catch up. Good. Um, steroid needs wound treatment. And we need repair of items, which unfortunately steroid is also doing. Well, blood can pick some of it up and just repair a few of the weapons, I guess. In the meantime, Larry starts um, starts healing. I'm becoming almost too good. Good. The whole pling 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 in the background that you hear is. Not uh, the second team learning, it's the first team. Uh, just getting rid of their wounds. Very good. Okay, we're just recapturing all of these sectors. I think we had nothing in here. Blood here. Taking a walk. No sweat. Let us look at that. Well, I stand corrected. We have not been in this region yet. I will lead. Elsewise, I would have uh, found all of that. Understood. Hey man, what's up? Explosive. Specialist. Yep, well. I call dibs on anything that can be categorized as medicinal. Nice, we got ourselves some more ammunition. Huh? Let us get this safari moving. 
With the parts that we do have available, I think we could uh, create quite a bit of uh, ammo. Specifically shotgun ammunition. Because that seems to be rare in this playthrough. Just don't ask me to walk in a straight line. Uh-huh. Or walking. Huh? Hey man, what's up? Okay. Come on. This here looks again more Something like a beginner be. area and not uh, like a late game area, so I'm still trying to understand what the normal course of action is that the game wants you to take. Because this here out. definitely seems yeah, easier. You guys go ahead. I'll catch up. No sweat. Win. Okay. Got it. I will lead. We're moving the party. Can we stop for snacks on the way? Yeah, we're going to pause here so that everybody can kind of uh, regain got it. their breath. We don't want anyone to be tired. Let's go. I knew it. I effing knew it. I was thinking about it. Mm. <sighs> Alright. Should have been more careful. Oh yeah, that's real good. Hey, give me some more of that. No problemo, man. I'll just take this pill and walked straight into two of the mines. All right, how long will it take to get to here? Yeah, okay. I'm finished with my task. I'm going to take my 15 minute break now. Not perfect, but yeah, we need to abort and go back. I have initiated work on this task. Check it! I'm getting the hang of this! Good, more enemies are coming. Gotta be careful here. So, Alpha Squad. Moves up. Orders up, man. I'm here. And we have hospital treatment. Thank you. Merci. I am ready to fight again. In the meantime, let's take a look at the main team. Who's not going to who's not going to take no for an answer? MD present. You should try to do something special. No problem. We do it. Um, wait. Isn't that an enemy over there? Moving. Moving quietly. Huh? Enemy has sight of me. I apologize. Good. We're going to see how great Overwatch is again. Hit it hit. Almost dead. <laughs> Everybody's almost dead. Yeah, 
Makes you wonder if you could just face off and hit every everyone once. Enemy has good visibility. You will pay for these boring dogs. Lord, one kill. Souls to heaven. And that is why snipers are completely OP. Got a good shot on this mother. See that shot? That was tight. Dug for life. Yeah, raid leader down. I really think that was completely hot. This is no problem. That's one badass bitch. Good thing she's on our side. And Igor. Of course. Just moves up and teaches him a lesson. <laughs> Ready to, um, pretty good odds, I think. Yeah. Reality. Sniper is definitely OP. Out of curiosity, can someone modify these uh, things? No, they we can't. I'm considering using an actual machine gun uh, with uh, Hogbite, but it would be the RPK-74 because you can still mod it and it uses Warshaw packed ammunition, which I think at this point is fair to say we do have 900, so uh, that might be interesting just to see how it holds up. Besides, we do have a mortar, by the way. I haven't mentioned that. Uh, the enemy brought that in one of their attacks. I definitely would want to see how that stacks up. Say, if we were to ride along to here, that would be one day. And yeah, we could we could place a lot of things in our stash, but it's a lot of travel time as well. Mm. Well, thinking about it, it's maybe not that much travel time. And we could modify the RPK and test out if that is worth it. So first of all, let's move over here. Currently there is no attack happening, which in itself is a That's all set. effing miracle. Oh, Bloods feeling better. Did we forget steroid? Hmm. I hope this task will be a good workout. Good. They can train a little bit in the meantime, which is fine. Um yeah, thinking about the other squad arriving here. Is there anything we want to take with us to the other camp? Yes, our unique guns that we elsewise don't have. Mama's Conflict Ender, yes. And this stuff because we need it for quest. Easy enough. Um, Diamond shipment comes in soon, but I think the second team is capable of uh, getting that by themselves. So prime team goes here and then 
takes on the rest of the continent. And we're going to see the second team fight again. This time in during night and during rain. That's one of the worst setups overall. Night goggles. Enemy is coming from here and we still have uh, the bonus from the other team. Oh, what? They're still here. Yeah, never mind then. Wow, 12 mercenaries. What next? Hawkbite moves to here. In my and side. just overwatches that. I'ma serve up some cold justice. Nobody saw me. You won't pay for this! Foreign dogs! Keeping it on the down low. Go on the ground! Uh, I was never good at hide and seek. Good, let's get that sniper. I think so. We hit Hawk Bite, wonderful. Um, Michael here. Good. Lots of overwatch. This is absurd. Waiting for orders. Got it. Pure moves over. How a real man does it. That was actually quite nice hit. Moving. I am here. A problem. No, I do not have the shot. The dark buckhead. Waiting tanks. Appreciate it. Good. They are slaughtering us. Well, not much is going to happen. Oh, is, by the way, a not very uh, helpful position if the fight immediately starts. Oh, but yeah, the prime team has that. No problem. The Overwatch is too, too nasty. Everything triggers and it's always two shots. And Hawkeye has like five Overwatch shots. Ah. 
Oh, come on. to shoot. This one will fall before me. We should all be flexing our muscle. Just we give a moment less air. No way. This nah, that's too far. Hit someone in the way? Oh, our own veteran. Well, wonderful. Stinks worse than spoiled me. Team is coming in strong. I like it. Going right now. Aiming. Oh, moves up. Defense here. First team immediately disappears because you can't take loot with them. Oh, nice, we got an MP5 here. MP5 could go in here. Kind of as a backup weapon. The MP5 is actually not bad. I appreciate it. Specifically since it has a long uh, range. It's almost a bit better than the MP5K. But also costs one more AP. So I guess it kind of evens out. I'm becoming almost too good. Good. Team number two. Goes back into the jungle. And forces themselves to move here. Let's continue exploring. It will be done. I think I see something over there. Oh, this here reeks. Uh, uh, reeks after alligators. Removing the pipe. Don't, Looks like some yeah, kind of don't monster. like what I'm seeing. Making myself invisible. Two alligators. Got a chance to do this quietly, man. They won't feel a thing. Oh wait, maybe that's me. All right, come on. The prey will not see me. The prey is unaware. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to f fight them in melee. The thing is now severely bleed, uh, bleeding. If I must. Yeah, don't shoot them. Shoot the fairies instead. 
All right, Overwatch. Will fall on them like a tree in the forest. All right, Sarah, just a real deal. Death to the zombies. The monster is dead. We should burn it before it gets undead. I should be working out. They won't see me until it's too late. They won't see me until it's too late. Nobody's getting by me. Okay, the other crocodile comes. Oh. Monica Sandegard, hey, close attention to my form. One will fall before me. Good hits. Uh, yeah, Larry, now's a good time to hit it. Got a view to a kill here. Are you fucking fight. kidding me? Miss. Miss. Okay. About to make mince meat here. This bypasses armor. And therefore deals good damage. Thirty crit. He's still not dead. A simple shot. These guys are, are more enemies hiding. Taking a lot of damage. Ready for a fight. Good, given that there are crocodiles around. It seems uh, that like the right approach to maybe sneak a bit more. Sneaking up on this guy's walls. No sweat. We should take a closer look at this. C'est parti. Can we stop for snacks on the way? Be quiet now. One thing that I notice is outside of water they are not very good so let's just right. stay away from how they won't spot my magnificent physique <laughs> Sterod is the best He needed some training but I like his attitude I'm so quiet I can't even hear myself Larry on the other hand is a bit of a junkie It will be done I see game to her let us get this safari moving. Okay, we don't necessarily need to kill Come. the crocodiles. Hmm. Did we just drop that? Maybe yes, maybe we did. Large blast area. That's a bit more of a crafting item. Hmm, okay, I don't know where that second 
No sweat. Ah, there it is. Okay, good. Hmm. Time TNT. That looks what? like something we could use. Wisdom check failed. And we get some great loot here. You guys go ahead. Which we can bring I'll back to the up. museum. We're moving the party. Ooh. Full heavy armor. What do you want? Whatever. Not bad. I will lead. Not bad at all. The question is who would benefit from full heavy armor? Good, so Pierre has no free move. That's fine. He generally is quick enough. And our back line. Our back line doesn't need to have free move either. So if she just has a heavy helmet, that is bad. The rest has medium armor. Should be working out. Wish I had a chopper. Okay. Let's go. Let's do one more crocodile infested landscape. This traveling reminds me of the army. Only less vodka. Wetlands River Bank. What is up, man? Copy that. This might be crocodile heaven. No Watch yourself. Do not get bitten. We. Oui? Hey, Can we somehow? Grenade that thing. Yeah, that's just one shot. Not good. Ah, that was a waste of turn. Blood here. Oh, there is an another big crocodile sitting there. Wonderful. Blood's gonna draw one hit. Blood. Another one. Waiting for orders. I should be working out. I'm just wondering, can we reload? Do we have nine millimeter armor penetration? Uh, 44 standard. Yeah, never mind. Uh, 44 match. 44 shock. Forty-four armor pen uh, piercing. Well, I guess we're better off just shooting at it. Gotta kill those zombie dolphins before they bite you, man. Okay, now watch this, man. Into the legs. Good. Now it's slowed. Monica Sandegard here. What next? Pay close attention to my form. Onto the head. Good hit. We. Oui. 
Well, Shaws, this is because my will is strong. I don't know, the weapon does not seem all too accurate. You're easily out of range. Good, the thing Not isn't the very guard. fast. What is up, man? When does that recharge? This idea stinks worse than spoiled meat. This gus ball's going down. Leg effects, very good, he's still slowed. Wait. This will be so easy, I'm already bored. Okay, luckily none of uh, the crocodiles have ever reached us. I still don't know how much damage they are dealing, but I can only assume it's a lot. No problem. Got a wild animal here, man. Whatever. Can we stop for snacks on the way? We are moving out. Stupid crocodiles. Come, we go. I think I see something over there. What? I remember we had one tree. Uh, here that caused rabies or any form of uh, rage in the hyenas. I wonder if there is something similar no problem. for the crocodiles. Whatever. We are moving out. Come on. No problem. Yeah, I think that's as much as you get. Come on. Strange tree, a massive one. C'est parti. Good. Time to move deeper into the wetlands. And I think that will be our last sector. In the meantime, the other team arrives. Uh, air stalk. Stalk air. Um, that is that. Unload and put parts into it. M16A2. Good, lots of automatic weapons, so... Um, yeah, we could benefit from having another crowbar. shotgun as well as that is not needed uh, the G36 I like it but my question 
for Hawkbite in particular is which weapon side does he really want to shoot with? We have two fully modified uh, weapons, the AK and the FNL. Um, and I think that's good enough for now. The G36, cool weapon. I like it. And I also like the range. 36 range is nothing to be scoffed at. But would it replace the FNL? I don't know. He only has room for two weapons to begin with. And I wanted to uh, to give uh, the... I wanted to give uh, a an actual machine gun a try. Good, lots of stuff here. Uh, it's all good uh, stuff, but we don't necessarily need it. Uh, we got one grenade uh, launcher. And I'm almost tempted to leave the gold fever away because we could theoretically... The Dragunov doesn't have a, a penetration per se. That's the only disadvantage of it. But it has burst firing mode. On the other hand, this rifle here has maximum penetration, right? Penetrates everything. So you can work around that. The other option is to use RPGs, but then how many RPGs do we really need? We got another rifle here. Uh, we got another rifle here and how modified is it? I think it was only missing the UV dot and the thermal scope. The rest was uh, already there. Yeah, but we do have a chip shortage. Hmm. Yeah, you, you could go with another uh, kind of um, heavy weapon. But we already have those heavy weapons uh, available, so I also don't want to overdo it. In terms of ammunition, do we have enough ammo? 90 shells, definitely enough, so... I can see Igor using the, uh, the Auto 5. Uh, the AA-12 is a good weapon as well for indoors. We're just carrying so much stuff around with us uh, for optionalities. But then, on the other hand, we also don't need a lot of uh, extra stuff. We're very, very well kitted. I want to test the RPG. Simply to see if uh, that makes a huge difference. And I don't think that I need any... F any... Hello. Uh, moving? Major We're upgrades moving. for it. We will do. How can I assist? What? Good, so we had F and Fal. Uh, we had a couple of grenades, we're definitely taking those. And a modified RPG. Very good. Heavy armor is not needed. Grenades are always helpful, and this would be the RPG, right? So let's see how we can modify it. For starters, RPG uses Warshaw Pact ammunition. Uh, deals a lot of damage and let's modify it so we can have a bipod improved reliability silent attacks or accuracy bonus
First aim, bonus doubled, proof reliability. <coughs> uh, increased AP cost when reloading and better clip size. Very good. So, wide overwatch range. Yeah, that needs a chip. First attack, increased accuracy level. Don't need that. All right, so only thing that uh, is missing is that reflex side for wider overwatch uh, cone. That indeed would be cool. But Prism Scope isn't bad either because we can take one shot and then uh, go into Overwatch afterwards. Good, Expanded Magazine, good. Getting the tripod on. Better reliability, and we don't want more shots. That is uh, exactly the opposite of what we want. Moderate accuracy bonus for subsequent attacks against the same uh, target is, uh, I think, what we want. The crit chance isn't bad either, and I like uh, the silent nature of it, but that's not quite need to be silent is the question. I mean, this here has a lot of shots, so the recoil will be a bigger uh, thing. Good. We do have a fully modded uh, weapon now. The only thing that is missing is the wider overwatch cone, and we're go we can see how the weapon fares even without that. Um, let's reload it with good old standard ammunition. And we do have a silencer on that weapon, so if worst comes to worst, uh, we are just taking the FNL, F and Fell rather, and the RPK Big Fat Machine Gun is going to be our go-to. Eight times eight, 46 points of uh, 64 points of damage. That's a lot. Ready. I see some beautiful avian specimens. Oh. Good. We can also send out militia from here, so that will help us with the training with problem. We do it. By now she should have a full museum. Dude, we brought her so much stuff. Um, Michael here. It is simply impossible. You should stop all this fighting. Did you learn anything? We brought treasures. Figurine. Thank you. Did you know? And a tableau. Tablet with an ancient. Great. Dispatch militia. Yes. Yes. Find my. Nice. Four militia di uh, dispatch to basically everything. We do it. There is too much traveling in this job. This is one thing I do not like. Okay. I didn't want to go into the map. God damn it. Just double checking. Do we have everything? Don't want to forget anything. 
Plenty of diamonds, night vision, got our new toy. I would love to have another crowbar, but uh, you can't unfortunately simply purchase one. But we could go to the Flea Town Market and see no if that's uh, if they do have something available. I'm here, player. Holla back. We have agreement with certainty. All right. What well, can we buy? Yes. Oh yeah, magazines. That's a good one. The red wire uh, gets explosives up. Barry already has a hundred. Bit unfortunate. In which case, Hopbite gets some free explosives. Yes. On our way. Smoking hot. Buy here. Do somewhere else. So very much Don't need Molotovs. Auto five, uh, fives are also not needed. MP5K, great, but don't need it. Modified lock, don't need it. Knives, don't need it. Certainly don't want to sell parts. No med kits needed. Yeah, it's unfortunately what we need. I don't sell it. Yes. And this is the biggest market already. We're moving. We're moving. Which is a shame. I wonder why they have so little. Hey, that cover model looks like box. Why they have so little options available just to buy the basic stuff. I think that needs another mod, but okay. It is what it is. Follow Igor. Good. Last a little thing for this episode. Go. Walking. Looks like some oh, kind of sure, monster. of course. I'll see them before they see me. Gonna do this quiet and clean. Observe. When sneaks up in the end. Good. You guys go a little bit further to the front. It's too late. I am on the power. I'm so quiet, I can't even hear myself. Oh, there's another crocodile. Interesting. Well, I'm like a shadow. we're going to move away from it. Shadow only I can see. <sighs> Crocodiles. Coming under good ambush position. Observe. When sneaks up on the enemy, like this will be trivial. The enemy spotted me. Nicely hits the head. Brilliant plan. You'll see. Blood moves up. Blood's gonna draw some blood. Time to bury that thing. This gus ball's going down. Good. Let's just try to hit it. Yeah, good shots. I like it. I want to fight you. If I must. Just don't want to go into melee against these things. The prey the masses are good. It will spook the prey. It is kept more. They will not know from where they shall go. Hopefully the rest of the herd is not being hurt. 
I'm so quiet, I can't even hear myself. Keep watch on all of three of them. Okay, well. Surprise. This gust ball is about to get sad. One. Oh, whoa. It has a retaliation attack. I was not aware of that. Immediately three wounds. That's nasty. And we learn you can retaliate uh, through a full special attack. Whatever. Enemies heading out. Guy de Ver. Oh, no, 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 no. Now let the calling of the weak beg in. <sighs> Waiting for orders. Right, so. The prey loves the praise, my friend. Headshot. No, no, that's all wrong. Doesn't what work. I do it? I'm like a shadow. Super secret shadow. Easy shot and an unsuspecting target. All right, headshot. They won't see me until it's too late. All right, blood. Misses. And misses again. About to make mince meat here. hits and we're going for another hit the knives are very very effective I will make this as painful as possible waiting for orders no problem man I'll just take this pill and make myself real small Could be something useful over here. Good, I have no idea who that guy the bear is. It is a shame they will not be able to watch me move. Looking for stealth kill position. But this looks too easy. Just one guy. Let's fan out a bit. Good, our flankers are in position to do exactly that, flanking. Sneaking up on the scars once. I will fall on them like a tree in the forest. Good when he comes out again. We're going to hit him. I think I found something. Invisible. I will sneak up like a tree falling into forest. What is this thing here? Uh, AKSU. Four times ten. What is it? A submachine gun. Oh, perfect. Light penetration. The AXU. AKSU. Sub. Uh, the AK version of a submachine gun. And use Warshaw packed ammunition. Generally not bad. Interesting choice of weapon. They will not be able to watch me move. There's a poem by Edgar Allan Poe. Let it be stall, a saintly soul of uh, flowers in the river. Okay. 
Good, we got a couple of mustard I gas grenades. Like a tree falling in the forest. Let the bell toll. A saintly soul floats in the Stygian river. Okay, this guy. Seems completely insane. Is Monica Sandegard here? And Guy Duver has no tear. Weep. Okay, so we're we're definitely in the what next? crazy zone. Let us get this safari moving. Come on. But okay, like what do you expect? The guy is sitting here in an in an alligator infested swamp. No idea how he even protects himself from the continuous attacks. Okay. I will lead. I think we've killed most of the alligators. Come on. All right. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Understood. I would give him the benefit of a doubt and say he's a twisted soul, but he also seems a bit like a maniac at the same time. Good. Operation treat your wounds. Blood is doing exactly that. Heals blood. I'll do it. Larry chills and steroid repairs weapons. I hope this task will be a good workout. Uh, which means we have Pierre, Flay, and Buns left over. Agility could be a good set for us. Um, and dexterity wouldn't be bad either for Pierre. I think this here would be more helpful. All right, very good. Which, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to the end of today's episode. It was fun as always. Very much enjoyed the time here. Larry is no longer tired, which is good. We can put him into into this operation. Someone was to train health. Nope. Uh, that would be steroid. Marksmanship. I mean, I think the stats are more important, specifically agility. For more action points. Good. Steroid continues to repair. I think it's just fair to repair the in, uh, the entirety once. And our prime team helps up here. These guys will attack soon. I think the prime team then, after defending both of the harbors, could go and take that, the entirety of this island um, before helping to land down here, which was the original plan. But that happens in the next episode. It seems like our main team is just here and there and everywhere. Studies a lot and 
tries initiated work on the their very place. best to just uh, defend all of our settlements. Things are looking good in Jack the Lines. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, today's episode and we see each other in today's. Take care. Bye-bye.